A health tip brought to you by Professional Orthopedic Associates. Hello, my name is Brian Torpy. I'm a board certified fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon with added qualifications in sports medicine. Uh, the short topic that I'd like to talk with you uh, about today is uh, shoulder separations. Shoulder separations occur when um, uh, uh, as a result of an injury from a lateral force to the side of the, of the shoulder, somebody has um, the collarbone uh, pop up from the top of uh, the, the, the shoulder blade. This usually happens in injuries such as a hockey player that's thrown into the boards or um, a football player is tackled and lands on the side of their arm. Um, there's three types of shoulder separations, uh, with the type 1 being the, the um, less, uh, the less um, painful and the type 3 being uh, typically the most painful. What we find is that um, most of these injuries are, are treated very, very conservatively and they respond well to the use of ice, anti-inflammatory medicines, and uh, rest in a sling. Uh, on occasions, uh, people who have injuries uh, that are of the type 2 nature do need a surgery, but fortunately that's uh, infrequent. Thank you very much for your time. This has been a health tip brought to you by Professional Orthopedic Associates.